Welcome. In front of me is a Chewy Huey, however you pronounce this, iPad Max, and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this device. Now, before I get started with the actual bypass, I am going to mention uh, the state of this device, which you can see it is uh, locked. It's telling me to draw the pattern uh, as one method of unlocking it, and the second one would be obviously the Google account. So anyway, uh, to get started, we're going to back out to the first page of the setup. Now in here, I'm going to start off by selecting the vision settings, talk back, and you want to enable it and probably also mute the device because it will start talking to you. Talk back on. Welcome to talk back. There we go. I did turn down the volume just because to me it is way too distracting. So once you see this page right here, the welcome to talkback page, uh, you want to draw a mirrored L on the screen like this. This will bring out the Android accessibility suit asking you to record audio. We're going to select or double tap on the first option, which is already selected. So while using the app, then single tap use a voice commands and before you double tap on it, uh, I'll quickly go over what we will need to tell the device to do because this will need to be told to the device. So when you double tap on it, you will hear a beep, meaning the device is now listening to you and you want to say open Google Assistant. Uh, you will probably hear another uh, two beeps or opening Google Assistant uh, talkback telling you that it's doing it and then another beep that Google is listening to you, whichever one it will be. Um, what you're looking for after the command, once you, the window opens up at the bottom, is Google will then have like these uh, little four Google little colors just kind of like going little wibbly wobbly at the bottom. It's like somewhere right here. So that means that it's now listening to you, at which point you will then say open YouTube. So I'll go over this right now, I'll do it myself, and you can see and hear how I'm doing it. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. There we go. As you can see, pretty simple. Anyway, uh, once YouTube is open, you want to suspend TalkBack by holding a volume up and a volume down at the same time. And then it will bring up the shortcuts right here. So you want to select turn on, double tap, and then hold volume up and down once more. That was way too loud, which will now allow us to use the display normally. From here, uh, we are going to navigate to account icon right over here and then help and feedback. And then in the search bar, you want to type in delete apps on Google Play that we don't need to type in the entire thing. So it will show up right over here, delete or disable apps on Android. You wanna select that. And here we will have delete apps on Google Play. That's what we're looking for. So, so you wanna click on it. And here you will find the top to go to application settings and blue text. So on the camera, it barely looks any different than the text below that. But in reality, text and step two, three uh, is completely like black while the one, step one is blue because it's a link. Once you click on it, it opens up our apps right here that we have on this device. And we want to start off by selecting Android Setup, which is the second one right here, and then choosing Force Stop, confirming it, and then going back once. Next we want to do is uh, stop the Google Play services. So we're going to scroll down to Google Play services. We're going to select Disable, Disable App, and Force Stop and OK. And now that we have disabled and first stop Google Play services, we will now hold our power button and select restart. Now when the device boots up, we will, we will be re, uh, basically redoing the steps that we have done before. But before we do that, we're just going to quickly check in the Wi-Fi section if we have the option to set it up offline. If we do, we will then back out to here and repeat uh, everything from step like one to five, I believe. So anyway, I'm going to select start because we need to check first if everything worked fine. I think it's already trying to look if the device is unlocked. So I'm going to go back once. 
and yes it did so as you can see uh, it's now the Wi-Fi page I am still connected but we do also have the option to set it up offline so that's good everything work is working fine as intended so we're gonna back out again and we're gonna repeat the steps of so vision settings talkback enable L use voice commands open Google Assistant and now it's gonna give us a different window there we go and that's what we're looking for and here we're gonna go to settings double tap we're gonna also hold volume up and volume down to suspend the talkback Gosh, that is so loud anyway once that's done we can now select enable and we're gonna back out there we go and we're gonna progress through the setup once again Now again, once it's showing you that it's uh, trying to, well, getting apps or whatever, uh, once you see this page, we can back out because we still want to be on the connect to Wi-Fi page. So in here, now we're gonna se select the setup offline option, continue. Now the reason we haven't used that before is because without the Google Play services enabled, uh, this would not allow us to actually go through the setup. It needs to have the services enabled so it knows that the device is either locked or unlocked. Uh, but typically, when that is happening, it wouldn't give us the option set up offline. So we're kind of glitching the device. It doesn't, inca doesn't take in consideration that we could have play services and have the option visible because that's not how it was supposed to work. Um, so it allows us now to finish up the setup. And like I mentioned, that's the reason we didn't select it from the beginning when it was visible. Now, right now you want to select whatever uh, actually helps you finish up uh, the setup faster. And from there, once we have finished up the setup, you want to navigate to your settings and system, reset options, erase all data, erase all data and anyway, you're gonna press on the erase all data once more to initiate the factory reset of the device now it seems probably counterintuitive to you right now to do so uh, but let me explain why we want to do this uh, is when you're performing a reset of the device through settings like I'm telling you to do right now it forces the device to remove any kind of protection from it. That will include Google accounts, screen locks, anything like that. It will be all trashed. Now this device still contains the previous uh, securities, meaning the previous Google account and previous screen lock. It's not showing us, we just kind of bypass this at the moment, but it's still on the device. By performing that factory reset through here, it will be completely removed and therefore the device will become fully unlocked. Now, I'm not going to go over this on the video and the reset itself just because it is a fully automatic process that you don't really have anything to do throughout. So just you know, black screen, logo, finished, and then you can go through the setup because you'll be back in the setup of your device. But you can go through that setup in whatever way you want. It will be fully unlocked at that point. So with that being said, Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.